Do you want to create stunning abstract animations to include in your Canva designs? We can do that with Lottie's. Lottie animations are lightweight, scalable and cross-platform and if you're not using them, you're missing out on a huge opportunity. Having said that, you don't have to settle for the ones that are already available. I have spent countless hours testing different methods and tools and found an easy and quick way to create custom Lottie animations. Today, I'll show you how to create custom Lottie files for Canva for free. I will also show you how to animate them. And if you stay until the very end, I'm going to share the pros and cons I found while using the different methods and tools, so you need not spend hours experimenting with them. But first, what are the tools we will be using? We are going to use a free design tool called Figma and a couple of free Figma plugins to create the Lottie animations. But don't worry, you won't need any prior experience using Figma to create the Lottie files as I will outline the exact steps to create your custom Lotties. Once you have a free account created in Figma, open up a new design file. Now you get text, shapes or you can even use the pencil and pen tool to create custom abstract shapes like blobs. Create your custom design and customize it the way you want with the properties available on the right side. And I highly recommend enabling the fill and stroke properties for your design. You can customize the colors or remove it later even after exporting it to Canva. Here's a pro tip. There are a couple of neat plugins to get icons to use in your designs if needed. I personally prefer Phosphor and Icon Scout. If you're including many elements in your design, you can create a frame to include all of them into one design to export. Sometimes when you enlarge or scale your elements, it might distort a bit or appear wide. So here's how to solve this problem. Just use the shift key while scaling your elements to avoid the distortion. Now that a design is created, how do you animate these Lottie files? You can choose between two different ways to animate your Lottie files. First, simply export a Lottie from Figma and animate it using Canva's inbuilt animation tools. If you don't prefer that, you can animate it first and then export to Canva. Here's how to do that. We will use a plugin within Figma called Jitter which can be found in the plugins section. Once your design customizations are complete, click on the main menu, then plugins and then manage plugins. Here you can search and find Jitter. You can also click shift plus I or simply click on this icon to open the resources section. Click the design or its parent frame if used and click on Jitter. Next click copy. And once it finishes the process, click open in Jitter. This opens a new tab with our design in Jitter. As soon as it opens up, remember to remove the fill option to remove the white background in your design. Now this is the point where we animate. Remember to click the design elements to animate instead of the frame. Choose whichever animation option you like. Here you can preview and check how your animation will look like when exported. Once done, click on export here and choose Lottie. It opens up a new tab where you can check the Lottie animation files properties like its size, duration of animation, pixel and format. Now click on this download icon. This will give you a .json file. Now how to import this into Canva? We can do that by simply dragging and dropping it inside Canva. Here's another pro tip. If you want the feature to modify the colors of your Lotties after importing your custom Lotties into Canva, go with Jitter. I tested Lottie files, Lottie Lab, Jitter and a few other plugins. For basic and quick design exports into Canva, I found that Jitter is better for modifying colors within Canva after importing or even just importing it into Canva without any upload errors. Also, Lottie Files has a limit of 10 files that we can upload and store into our project's dashboard in their free version. We should upgrade to get more space or delete the existing ones to make room for new files. Whereas Jitter doesn't have any such limits in their free plan. Now remember that all the tools we saw in this video like Figma and plugins like Icon Scout, Jitter, Lottie Files would all require you to create a free account to connect to Figma. Once created and connected to Figma, you are good to go. 
Sometimes we inevitably find that the LoTi files are heavy in size and Canva doesn't allow files that are more than 0.5 MB in size. In that case, watch this video where I show a quick trick to reduce the LoTi file size by almost half its original size.